Ever struggled with growing kale in containers or grow bags? Well, you're not alone. It can be a daunting task, especially when faced with challenges like choosing the right container size, maintaining the perfect soil mix, or dealing with pests and diseases. But don't let that deter you. Container gardening has immense benefits. For one, it's perfect for those of us who may not have the luxury of a large garden space. It's an excellent way to maximize small patios, balconies, or even indoor spaces. Plus, grow bags and containers provide better control over soil, water, and nutrient management, making it easier to create the perfect growing conditions for your kale. So are you ready to overcome these challenges and reap the rewards of your own container-grown, nutrient-rich kale? In this video we'll guide you through the process of growing kale in containers, one step at a time. Before we dive into the planning process, it's important to understand what kale needs to thrive. This leafy green powerhouse is quite adaptable, but there are a few conditions it prefers. First and foremost, kale loves sunlight. Aim to give your plants a generous 6 to 8 hours of sun each day. However, the plant is also cool weather friendly so it can tolerate some shade, especially in warmer climates. Temperature-wise, kale thrives in cooler conditions. It can withstand frost and even taste sweeter after a light frost. Ideal temperatures range between 45 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. As for the soil, kale prefers well-draining soil rich in organic matter. A pH level between 6 and 7.5 suits it best. And let's not forget water, kale needs plenty of it, so ensure your plants get consistent watering but avoid waterlogging the soil. Now that we know what kale needs to grow, we can start the planting process. The first step in growing kale in containers is to select the right container. Now kale isn't too picky when it comes to its home. You could use traditional clay pots, plastic containers or even fabric pots or grow bags. The key is to ensure the container is deep enough to accommodate the kale's root system. Typically, a depth of at least 10 to 12 inches should do the trick. Equally crucial is the presence of drainage holes at the bottom of your container. Kale, like most plants, doesn't enjoy having wet feet. Excess water needs a clear escape route to prevent root rot and other moisture-related complications. Size does matter when it comes to containers. A pot that's too small can limit growth and yield, while an oversized one can lead to waterlogged soil. A container that's around 12 to 15 inches in diameter should be just right for a single kale plant. With the right container in hand we can move on to the next step, preparing the soil. A good soil mix is crucial for the growth of kale. So, let's dive into the world of soil and its role in raising healthy, robust kale plants. The ideal soil for kale is a well-draining medium that's rich in organic matter. Drainage is vital because kale roots dislike sitting in water. Too much moisture can lead to root rot, a condition that can damage or even kill your plants. Organic matter, on the other hand, provides essential nutrients for the kale, promoting strong, vibrant growth. Now how do we create this perfect soil mix at home? It's simpler than you might think. All you need is compost, peat moss, and perlite. Compost is the backbone of our soil mix. It's packed with a wide range of nutrients that kale plants love. Plus, it improves soil structure, making it easier for roots to penetrate the soil and access the nutrients they need to thrive. Next, we have peat moss. This fluffy, lightweight material is fantastic at retaining moisture while still allowing good drainage. It also helps to aerate the soil, creating plenty of room for those kale roots to spread out and grow. Lastly, we add perlite. Those little white specks you see in potting soil? That's perlite. It's a type of volcanic glass that's been heated until it pops like popcorn. This gives it a lightweight, porous structure that's excellent at improving drainage and aeration. The suggested ratio for these ingredients is two parts compost, one part peat moss, and one part perlite. Just mix them together thoroughly, and voila! You've prepared the perfect soil mix for your kale plants. Remember, the quality of your soil directly affects the health and productivity of your plants. By taking the time to prepare a good soil mix, you're setting the stage for a successful kale harvest. Once we have our soil mix ready, we can start planting our kale seeds. So let's move on to the next step in our kale growing journey. Now comes the fun part, planting the kale seeds. Creating a thriving garden starts with a handful of tiny seeds. The potential of these minuscule kernels is immense and with a little care, they'll grow into lush leafy kale plants. Let's dive into the process. First, you'll want to create a small hole in your prepared soil. Use your finger or a stick to make this hole, it doesn't need to be deep. Kale seeds prefer shallow depths, so aim for about a quarter to half an inch deep. This allows the seeds to easily push through the soil and reach sunlight quickly. 
Once you've created your hole, drop a single kale seed into it. It's important not to overcrowd the seeds as each one needs sufficient space to grow and spread its roots. Ideally, you should leave about 12 to 18 inches of space between each seed. This might seem like a lot, but kale plants grow quite large and need room to flourish. After you've placed your seed into the hole, it's time to cover it with soil. Gently sprinkle the soil over the seed, making sure it's completely covered but not buried too deeply. The key here is gentle. You don't want to pack the soil down too hard or the seed might struggle to break through. Now, repeat this process for each seed you want to plant. Remember to keep a consistent depth and spacing for each one. This will ensure that all your plants have an equal opportunity to grow and thrive. Once you've planted all your seeds, give them a gentle watering. The soil should be moist but not waterlogged. You're aiming for a balance that provides the seeds with enough water to germinate, but not so much that they drown. And there you have it. Your kale seeds are planted and ready to grow. This is just the beginning of a rewarding journey. Watching your seeds sprout, grow, and eventually produce delicious, nutrient-packed leaves is a joy like no other. After planting the seeds, the next step is to care for the seedlings as they grow. Caring for kale seedlings is a crucial part of the growing process. Once your seeds have sprouted, it's time to give them the attention they need to flourish. First and foremost, watering is essential. Kale seedlings prefer a consistent level of moisture. Too much water can cause the roots to rot, while too little may lead to wilted leaves. A good rule of thumb is to keep the soil slightly moist at all times. If you press your finger into the soil and it feels dry, it's time to water. A gentle sprinkle from a watering can is often enough to keep the seedlings hydrated without overwhelming them. Next, let's discuss fertilizing. Kale is a heavy feeder, meaning it requires a lot of nutrients to grow to its full potential. A balanced organic fertilizer is typically the best choice. Apply the fertilizer according to the package instructions, generally every two to four weeks. The nutrients in the fertilizer will replenish the soil and provide your kale seedlings with the sustenance they need to develop into mature plants. Lastly, it's important to protect your seedlings from pests. Common pests that target kale include cabbage worms, aphids, and slugs. Regularly inspect your plants for signs of these pests. If you notice any, consider using a natural pest control method such as introducing beneficial insects or applying an organic insecticide. Remember, the goal is to create an environment where your kale seedlings can thrive. This involves providing them with the right amount of water and nutrients, as well as protecting them from harmful pests. It might seem like a lot of work, but trust me, the reward of fresh homegrown kale is well worth the effort. With the right care, your kale plants will grow strong and healthy, ready for harvest. After weeks of care and attention, it's time to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Harvesting kale from containers or grow bags is relatively straightforward. Once the leaves reach a size of about 6 to 8 inches, they're ready to be picked. You can start from the bottom, plucking the older leaves first, while allowing the top ones to continue growing. To harvest, simply cut the leaves at the stem, taking care not to damage the central bud. This ensures that your plant will keep producing more leaves. Now let's recap the journey we've embarked on. We started by understanding kale and its growing requirements. We then selected the right container, prepared the soil, and planted the seeds. After some tender care for our seedlings, we've finally reached the exciting stage of harvesting. And that's it. With these simple steps, you can grow your own kale in containers or grow 